Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Elden Ring, let's continue the run with Sadu. And uh, yeah, much fewer number of parts as compared to the uh, Argo run, but I'm pretty advanced in the uh, Sadu run. And then I guess one thing that I was curious about uh, going into this game was like, how, how much of a lift is it gonna be uh, to do like a second, third, fourth character? And it turns out, not very much. Well, I mean, I'm still playing the game for, you know, dozens of hours, but compared to the first time, not so much. With Argo, you know, I kind of wanted to uh, do everything and see everything. And even then, I didn't do everything and see everything. And uh, that was a big uh, kind of investment of time and all that. But um, once you've seen all that, then you kind of know what uh, you need uh, for your build if you're building for another specific build. And so actually with this Sadiu account, or this Sadiu character, uh, there's a lot that I haven't done, a lot that I haven't seen. And um, that'll be cool, kind of like uh, for future runs, you know. I'll still have stuff to look forward to that I've only experienced once before. So yeah, actually it's been working out uh, fine, I think. For, uh, you know, playthroughs beyond the first. Okay, but here, I beat the uh, two gargoyles so I could go into the uh, the deep root depths because I wanted to get uh, Fia's costume. Uh, I didn't record uh, fighting that uh, dragon boss in there, but I beat him too. <laughs> Got the costume. And then here we'll go against another gargoyle, uh, but this one will be one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. No summons. And then, uh, yeah, this uh, spiral shot, really liking it. It's slow, and it's got, like, a lot of movement, so it can uh, hit a guy multiple times. And yeah, these gargoyle bosses, you know, they're they're kind of quick and active. But I've kind of gotten used to them. They're not as difficult as they used to be. I think I'm getting better at the game. <laughs> I really felt like... Um, going through Bloodborne, you know? I was getting, you know, noticeably better at that game as I was going through it. Feeling the same here. Sooner or later, I want to do a review of uh, Elden Ring. And then one thing I want to talk about is kind of the nature of the bosses. Uh, before starting the game, I heard a lot, like, um, they're like Bloodborne bosses, you know, but you can only play as a, a Dark Souls character. And so the game is like too hard or it's unbalanced or whatever. Heard a lot of stuff before I started, uh, but I have things to say about all of those topics. But yeah, spending some time with the game, I've kind of gotten used to like what it's asking of you as the player. And so uh, yeah, it's kind of just been more doable overall. Okay, here I am in a catacombs um, somewhere in the uh, mountaintop of the giants. I'm just playing this guy so I can get the uh, the bell bearing in order to buy uh, some smithing stones or like a um, uh, grave glove wart or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, but something that will let me easily uh, upgrade my stuff, so yeah, that's what I'm going through here. Also another uh, golden seed, which uh, I need. Uh, but yeah, I can summon my uh, shield guys, they can keep the boss busy, and I can just keep hitting it with the uh, spiral shot. And yeah, take him down. <laughs> uh, yeah, that will uh, let me buy the, um, the stuff to upgrade my summon, so that's cool. Alright, and then here, uh, this will be the last boss for this video, this will be the fire giant. I really enjoy playing this boss. Uh, but here, with this build, this was the most challenging um, that I've done so far. But kind of the most challenging thing is that um, I have so little HP. <laughs> My vitality's at 30. And I'm using the, uh, the magic scorpion charm, which will give me extra damage. So there's actually a few attacks from this fire giant that can one-punch me. And so this kind of gave me a test of, like... A, a low level build or like even a, a level one build and it was actually kind of fun you really learn to dodge 
the uh, certain attacks, especially the ones that can uh, one-punch you. Okay, uh, but here I'm using my uh, best fire-resistant clothing, which also gives me no armor, so that also helps with uh, being one-punched. That's the, uh, the Noble's uh, Traveler set or something. And then I'm summoning Alexander because I want to advance his storyline. Uh, but unfortunately that will mean that I can't use the horse. Uh, but actually I've kind of... I kind of prefer to not use the horse in this fight. Uh, because with the Fire Giant as well, I've kind of learned his attacks so that I can dodge. And it's easier to dodge on foot than it is on the horse, of course. <laughs> Uh, but for this one, I'm kind of, for phase one at least, I'm relying more on uh, melee attacks. So I have my um, regular old longsword with a magic infusion. I'm two-handing it, or when I remember to, I'm two-handing it. And I'm attacking his uh, left foot. And then I want Alexander to take all the fire attacks uh, if I can. So if I can get him in between me and the giant, that's helpful. And then phase two, I'm going to stop... Uh, double handing the sword, use the wand in the left hand, and then I'll use the, uh, the boulder throw. Now that I think about it, the spiral shot might be good because he's such a big target, but I wanted some uh, stagger, some poise damage uh, from the meteors, so yeah. So there he's staggered, I can uh, stab him in the, uh, the eye which is in his chest. Alexander's good at breaking his poise, so are these boulders, so they can kind of work together to accomplish that. But uh, if I'm too far away, my boulders won't reach him. <laughs> okay, there's some fireballs. Those aren't too, too hard to uh, avoid. All right, when we get close enough, more boulders. Hopefully we can break his poise. No. There's an elbow drop. <laughs> But yeah, kind of big openings after his attacks. Okay, let's two-hand the sword, get that in there. And decent damage, I guess. And we'll run away, kind of uh, reposition, regroup. There's a big old fireball, but thankfully it doesn't kill me. <laughs> I have more fire resistance than I do physical resistance, I think. I'm using the talisman and I'm using uh, this armor. So again, try to get close, try to use the uh, the boulders. And big rolling attack, but I roll too. <laughs> and yeah, I have to keep a close eye on my uh, MP. I don't want to... Oops. Okay, so there I was in front of Alexander, which is why the fireballs went at me. Uh, but yeah, no damage on Alexander, so I definitely want him to take those. Okay, looking for an opening, use some boulders, hopefully get another uh, poise break. No? Okay, but we dodge that, big opening, another boulder. No. <laughs> and there it is, okay. Let's run in, let's see if I can uh, poke that eyeball again. Not quite, but we can just do regular attacks and take him down. Alright. <laughs> That was fun! I think Fire Giant's a fun boss. Alright, we'll get his Remembrance. A bunch of souls. Uh, I don't think I'm going to burn the Erd Tree quite yet. I maybe want to do some other things. Okay, but here's my build. Uh, Longsword, 20. Carrion, uh, Regal Scepter, 9. And level 87. Maybe uh, low level, I don't know. But yeah, that is where my uh, Saudi account is at the moment. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.